Hello guys, welcome to Macout Smashers. Today we will upload a video on value analysis and cost control in industrial management from CAC 5th SEM Macout. In this chapter we have more concepts and learning tips. So today's agenda is about the value analysis its definition, terms used, process, its importance and second value analysis flow diagram and number third is Darcy methods of value analysis so at first the introduction to value analysis so what is value analysis in industrial management it is a systematic approach used to industrial management to enhance the value of products processes or services while simultaneously reducing the costs it involves a uh, Methodical examination of the functions and features of a product or process to determine if they are necessary and if so to what extent they contribute to value from the customer's perspective. So some key components of value analysis you can see in this slide is about function analysis. Identifying and understanding the primary functions of a product or process. Functions represent the purpose or role that the product or process is intended to fulfill cost analysis analyzing the cost associated with each function to determine the cost effectiveness of different aspects of the product or processes value identification accessing the value added by each function and determining which functions contribute most significantly to customer satisfaction and organizational objectives value engineering creativity encouraging creativity and innovation to find the alternative ways to deliver the required function more eff efficiently and at a lower cost. So the ultimate goal of value analysis in industrial management is to optimize the value to cost ratio of products, processes and services by focusing on enhancing functionality and quality while minim minimizing the costs. It involves collaboration across different departments and stakeholders including engineer designer suppliers and customers to identify the opportunities for improvement and innovation okay so some term used in value analysis is first function the primary purpose or role that a product process or service is intended to fulfill functions are the basis for analyzing value and identifying areas for improvement value the worth or utility that a product process or services product provides to the customer value is determined by the customer's perception of benefits related to the cost so cost the expenses incurred in the production operation or delivery of a product process or service cost analysis is essential in determining the cost effectiveness of different functions and features Value engineering, a systematic approach to improving the value of products, processes and services by optimizing functions and reducing cost. So that's it. So you can see here the other factors like performance, alternative, etc. So the process of value analysis involves a systematic approach to understanding, analyzing and improving the value of a product, services or process. At first, identify the product. Clearly define the product, service or process that will undergo the value analysis. So Form a cross-functional team, assemble a team of individuals from or from various departments or disciplines who have relevant expertise and perspectives. This team may include engineers, designers and accountants, quality assurance specialists, etc. Define objectives and criteria. Establish clear objectives for the value analysis process. Determine the criteria that will be used to evaluate the value of the product. Identify the functions. Identify and define the primary functions or processes that the product or the process must fulfill. Function describes what the product is supposed to do rather than how it does it. Break down the components. Break down the product or process into its individual components, parts or elements. This helps in understanding the functions performed by each component and the associated cost. Some other technique like break down the components, evaluate cost, generate the alternatives, evaluate the alternatives, select the best alternatives, implement changes, monitor and review and document the result. And now it is time to show the value analysis flow diagram. At first the first step is 
orientation or preparation this stage involves the setting the stage for the value analysis process it include the defining the objective scope and stakeholders involved in the analysis orientation and preparation ensure that everyone understand the purpose and expectations of the value analysis process next is information during this stage relevant information and the data about the product process and service under analysis are collected and compiled this may include technical specification cost data performance metrics customer feedback and other relevant information necessary for the analysis the third is analysis phase in the analyzing state the collection collected information is systematically examined and evaluated this involves breaking down the product or process into its constituent function identifying areas of value and cost and analyzing the relationship between the function and cost innovation or creativity innovation and creativity are essential elements of the value analysis process in this stage brainstorming sessions and creative idea generation activities are conducted to explore the alternative solutions design or approaches that could enhance the value and reduce costs evaluation after generating the alternative solution or ideas the evaluation stage involves assessing the feasibility practically practicality and effectiveness of each option this include corresponding factors such as technical feasibility cost implication and impact on performance and quality and the alignment with customer requirements implementation and monitoring once the most visible or most viable alternatives or improvements are selected the implementation stage involves developing an action plan and executing the necessary changes this may include the defining responsibilities timelines and resource requirements for implementing the selected solutions monitoring and tracking progress are essential to ensure that the changes are effectively implemented and achieve the desired outcomes okay now it is time to sh share the important topics of this chapter the glad city method here the each letter you can see here the dart sari d for data collection a for analysis r for record ideas s for speculate i for investigate r for recommended and i for implement so at first this dart sari method appears to align the closely with the general steps involved in conducting value analysis or similar problem solving and decision making process here the dart sari is the sanskrit from its origin and the meaning of this dart sari is to consider right at first data collection in both value analysis and the dart sari method dart sari method the process starts with gathering the relevant data and information related to the problem or subject under analysis this step ensure that the decisions are based on the comprehensive and accurate information second analysis the collected data is then analyzed to identify the pattern trend and insights that can be extract the meaningful data that can inform the decision making progress analyze helps in understanding the current situation and identifying the areas for improvement the record the ideas this itself involve documenting and recording ideas suggestions and potential solutions that emerge the during the analysis phase it encourages the brainstorming and creatively in exploring the different possibilities right a speculate a speculation in the darcy method correspond to exploring and considering various hypotheses scenarios and alternatives to address this prob the problem or improve the situation it involves speculation or conjecture based on the analysis and record ideas investigate investigating in darcy method involves further exploration and examination of the potential situation or alternatives identify during speculation this may include conducting the additional research gathering more information or testing the hypothesis hypothesis recommended based on the investigation and analysis recommendation are formulated for implementing specific specific actions or changes recommendation should be practical actionable and aligned with the objectives of the problem solving processes implement the final steps involves implementing the recommended changes or solutions this may require the collaboration across the different departments or stakeholders and effective project management to ensure the successful implementation okay so that's it and in the next video i will discuss the part 2 of this value analysis and cost control methods okay 
so if you have any query you can just comment down below uh, in this video and uh, so i will also reply you okay so thanks for watching in uh, our next video we also explore and deep dive into the concept uh, in industrial management okay thanks for watching